Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at the mathematical definition of the Laplace transform. Again, the Laplace transform is just simply a tool that allows us to solve differential equations. What we do is we take a function that's in the time domain and convert it to a function that's in the frequency domain, the complex frequency domain where s is represented by the complex number sigma plus j omega. The units of s are 1 over seconds. Notice that if we have an equation that looks like this, where omega is represented by the number 3 in the decay portion of the function, omega is the 20 right here, which is the oscillating part of the function. Notice that in order for this to work out with units, 1 over seconds, if we plug in 3 over seconds, then times t in seconds, the seconds will cancel out, and this is dimensional quantity, which is what we want in the exponent. And then if we put 1 over seconds here, because that's an omega that is radians per second, times t, which is in seconds, again, that uh, cancels out, and we have no units in here because this needs to be the cosine of something in radians. Let's say that we have a simple function, f of t, and we want to take the Laplace transform of that. This is how we write that. We write the letter L of the function here. And we can also write it like this. Remember, we take a function with a small f and convert it to a function with a capital F. This means it's the function in the time domain. This capital F means that it's the function in the frequency domain. And the mathematical equation for that is that it's equal to the integral evaluated from zero to infinity because we assume that the signal that we're converting starts at t equals zero. It could potentially start earlier than that, but Typically, we simply allow it to start at time equals zero, including whatever happens at zero, because sometimes we have a step function at zero, and we want to include that step. So we want to make sure that we include the event that happens at zero, all the way out to infinity, of e to the minus st, remember s again is this variable right here, the complex number, times the function in the time domain dt. And that's what we mean by the Laplace transform. It's simply an integral from zero to infinity, of the function with respect to time, the function in the time domain, multiplied times e to the minus st. Let's do a simple example. Let's say that we have a function that is equal to 1. In other words, if we want to graphically write that, that means this. Starting at 0, this is the magnitude or the amplitude, and this is the time. So Nothing happens until we get the time equals zero, then the function becomes one. So it's simply a step function. What is the Laplace transform of the step function? Well, we can see here that f of s, so now that we have it converted to the complex frequency domain, is equal to the integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus st times one times dt. That simply becomes the integral of e to the minus st dt. So this is equal to the integral of e to the minus st dt, and from 0 to infinity. And of course, when we integrate that, we're going to need a minus s here, so this becomes 1 over minus s times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st times the minus s dt, because we have to have the proper differential in order to integrate that. Now we can integrate it, so this becomes equal to minus 1 over s times e to the minus st evaluated from 0 to infinity. When we plug in the upper limit, we get minus 1 over s times, plug in the upper limit, we get e to the minus infinity. Of course, e to the minus infinity, that's 1 over e to infinity, which is 0, minus e to the 0. Well, this becomes equal to minus 1 over s, like we said, e to the minus infinity is simply 0, minus 1, because anything to the 0 power is always 1, then the ones negate one another, and this becomes equal to 1 over s. So we can see that if we have a simple function, where the function with respect to time is equal to 1, which means the function is equal to 1, and I'll just put a 1 there, for the entire duration from 0 to infinity, if we do a Laplace transform and convert that function to a frequency domain function, we get 1 over s. In other words, f of s is simply 1 over s. Now we may not 
know at this point what that means. That's quite all right. We will learn that as the videos come. But right now, we simply want to know what a Laplace transform is as far as what does it mean mathematically? What is the mathematical definition? And that's right here. And with a simple example, of course, we can show that if the function is equal to 1, then that would be the answer for the Laplace transform for that particular instance when the function equals 1. When the function equals the sine of omega t, cosine of omega t, or any other function, of course, you'll get a different result. And we'll show you some examples of how to do that. But now at least, with the first two videos, you should have some sort of idea what a Laplace transform is.